We need an accountant to figure this out. We've got a darn good one right now, Dan Geltrude. Dan, what do you make of this? I think the bottom line here, Neil, is the bottom line. The IRS realizes that there is a lot of money uh, flowing back and forth in small amounts to, to small businesses that's taxable, and they're not picking it up. So, therefore, the IRS is saying, well, these businesses know they should be paying tax on it, and they're not. So, how are we going to catch them? Well, we're going to lower uh, from what was, Neil, $20,000 plus 200 transactions a year, which would get reported on a 1099K. Now they're taking it down to $600. So what's going to happen is the IRS is going to use the matching of this 1099K to what is appearing on tax returns. And if they don't match up, the IRS is going to send you a tax bill. And small businesses don't like that. What about just regular individuals? I mean, these are not especially large transactions. So if you have a lot of them, are they going to be on their own 1099 form? How will that work out? Well, that's where it really becomes the overreach, Neil, as you made that reference to your kids, right? You're, I'm sure you're Venmoing them quite a bit of money. So now that's getting reported to the IRS. So if that gets picked up for audit, you have to remember the burden is on the taxpayer to prove that wasn't taxable. So what does that mean? Everybody now needs to keep records of all these transactions because an audit will be a nightmare. Nightmare because the IRS will take the position right. that's taxable. So now you have to prove it wasn't taxable. It was just to cover my late night pizza orders. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I'm curious. How did this get through? I mean, uh, I remember when they were talking about low transactions, but I thought that had just gone nowhere. And then I learned that, that, that you know, it's very much alive and well and, and will be a, a, a key revenue raiser, I have no doubt, for the IRS this year and years forward. Well, this is what was in the American Rescue Plan, Neil, and this right, relates right. to those third-party payment apps. But now what you're making reference to is, is whether banks have to report those transactions. So that's they? still Do yet they? to come. Well, that was that was right now. Yeah. They do not. But that's what's being proposed, I believe, as what was what is part of build back better. So there were two different things. You have the third party payment apps and you have the banks. The third party payment apps went through as part of American Rescue. And now the bank transactions is part of build back better. It's very clear to me that they are looking at this as a possible way to expand the pool of, of, of taxpayers who are going to pay more taxes. Uh, it, they might say that it's not for that. It's for, you know, looking for malfeasance and all of that. But this is a very easy way to do just that. Where could something like this go? I mean, I'm thinking of the alternative minimum tax, which was a way to go after the rich guys like you to avoid paying taxes. And then it grew to include, what, a third to half of all taxpayers today. Well, these things never roll back, Neil. Once you start on right. this path of the IRS putting things in place to look for more tax dollars, that, that doesn't undo itself. In this particular case, though, Neil, I think what's happening and the reason is the small businesses are up in arms is because this income is not getting reported. And the IRS realizes that. And they're saying, here's an easy way for us to pick that up because the 1099K is supposed Supposed to match to the tax return. If they don't match, meaning your tax return is less than what was reported on the 1099K by these third party apps, the IRS knows that there's tax dollars missing. It's that simple. It's an, it's an easy catch for the IRS, Neil. Just amazing. All right. Thank you, my friend. I think I understand this a little better, and I'm worried about it a lot more. Uh, I'm waiting to see how my son reacts when he realizes no more checks are coming. Uh, always good seeing you. Thank you very much, Dan Geltrude, on all of that. All right.